Okay guys, we have an unboxing of sorts again. And the Caesar scissors right here. That's gonna matter. Earlier we unboxed this yesterday. The day before yesterday actually. It's 4 30 in the morning. Um my usual work time was 4 to 12 30. 4 a.m. to 12 30. But it's a Saturday, and because of this uh, predicament, I have moved on, and I will find another job. Um, this is the soap I was talking about earlier. See, see that dark soap right there in the middle? I was pointing the camera at this. This is, I don't know what it's for. So uh, That's a P word in the middle uh, on the top. I don't even know what that is, but... They say it's a misdiagnosis for, you know, uh, what, what, what I got is, you see this right here, where it talks about uh, bed bugs and mites. I don't know if you can tell it very, very well. But, you know, I sprayed my sheets, sprayed my bed, sprayed my carpet with this thing, plus the Lysol disinfectant. It's a very old house. This very old house right here. Very old house. Uh, Let's uh, walk along a little bit. This is one of those kind of houses. See this uh, little thing right there? That little square? Right? Um, it's still on stilts, and there's a, a, right underneath a, a bunch of dirt, which breeds insects. And other little things, you know, whatever, whatever little things does it bring? Bring fungus? I don't know. But I'm using this for what used to be a ringworm, and this is how it looks now. So I've read a lot of things. So we did our unboxing on this yesterday, and. Day before yesterday, actually, now it's 4 30 in the morning. And then, uh, then I got this, which is the Permethrin. Permethrin cost $95. My original one, my original one right here, my real two, two ounce one, this cost $95. Can you believe that? $95. And then I got this one, it was by four, because there's one right there. And I don't know where the other one's at. I think I actually one of them, I went through one of them over here. It's a buy four for like nine bucks. It's a buy three, get one free or whatever. And then I was told peroxide's good for all of this. Now the whole thing is if you ever get bed bugs, which that's what this is for. Right? Now 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 most of my wounds are gone. Right, most of them, but on this side, not so much. Now, once you get this, right, let's, let, let, let's look at this. Let's try to find a way to scratch this really quick, right? You start scratching, you start scratching, right? You start scratching, and then you get open wounds. Now, you're open to bacteria. So I got antibacterial band-aids, which I've only used a few of them so far. Once in a while I start scratching really bad, you get the anti. Now this hurts. This fucking, this generic goddamn crap. I was told get Jurgens, and I couldn't find it, so I'm like, I'll just grab this crap. And it's this was like, it had, this has sediment moisturizers. No, this fucking crap hurts. <laughs> so, so I don't use that one so much. But when I do take a bath, I start with this African soap. Okay. Start with this African soap. All right. This is, uh, you know, some kind of medicinal African black soap, is what it's called. And that, this feels good. That thing feels good. We're going to do the unboxing on this, by the way, right here. That's what we're going to do the unboxing on. So we got the bacterial and the fungal. That once you have the open sores, you know, 
It starts scratching too much. Now the bacterial, I had a prescription actually, and I kept one of these for a while for the prescription. But they don't let you take uh, too much antibiotics, I guess. You know, and penicillin's not strong enough to knock out staph infection, which is what they diagnose this as. So I use a lot of this right here. Neosporin. Neosporin, and uh, if you read it in the middle, once it stops, stops shining, it's an antibiotic pain relieving cream. So, so this is a cream. Now the equivalent to Neosporin is this generic. I started buying a lot of generics because it saved me a lot of money. But this is an antibiotic ointment, which I did have Neosporin ointment right here. I think I don't know if this is the cream or the ointment. Yeah, this is the ointment. But this is antibiotic. So if you have a staph infection, which they said I had, once you start scratching, you open yourself to a lot of things. Now I got a fungal, so I started using uh, this right here. Uh, let's do the brand name before anything else, first for whatever reason. Let's, I told you this is 13 bucks for a half ounce, right here for Lotraman. Which, uh, you know, the basic ge generic is this, which I got in the mail. I got six of these in the mail. I can't remember how much I paid, but it's way less. It's way, way less. Way, way less for Clotrimazole. Clotrimazole, I don't know, whatever. And that's for this, the ringworm. Which I have a fungus. I have a fungus on my toe, and I don't know if that's how this got here, and I don't even care. So, we're going to do the unboxing now. Oh, this is nice. This is sulfur. Might be gone. This might be gone, which is sulfur based, and it has natural oils, which is what I think is in here. I think that's in here. Um, let's see here. I got scissors. And we're going to open this thing up. Yay, unboxing! Yay, unboxing! Let's see what we got in here. A bubble wrap, well, hold on. I heard they're gonna do away with these things. Bubble wrap, this is stuff that you can pop. I heard they're doing away with it. I don't know if so high out, I guess. I don't know if it's true, but I heard it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. These are kids, people like to do that. Oh, what do you know? Um, I was expecting this, another one of these, but I ordered a lot of stuff. I ordered a lot of stuff from a lot of places, and this is uh, Asia Free, which is a still it's still sulfur based. I don't know if it's gonna mimic this, but. You know, it looks the same, you know, when I look through through the clear Bible, it looks the same. Now, uh, what I what, what I can do as well, um, probably when I take off, uh, when I stop the camera here, I don't have a whole lot of these left. You can see at the bottom, there's only a few left, so are these. It's going to be a 9-14 now. So are these on 9-3, September 3rd. And, you know, I've kind of reduced my stuff because I got dryness of the neck. And dryness of the neck is gone. <coughs> I think the dryness of the neck is this. Because while I was waiting for my stuff to come in the mail, a bad substitute... For uh, this stuff, actually, where's that? You know, bad substitute for uh, you know the Lutraman is actually shampoo for head lice. I put this stuff on my neck, 
in my armpits because you know this stuff was uh, from Sri Lanka I got this from Sri Lanka so it took a little longer than the other stuff to come in you know this is four dollars for two ounces and when I got the original stuff uh, prescribed it was ninety five dollars for you know two ounces you know this stuff right here was ninety five dollars from a Rite Aid pharmacy so anyhow, when the camera's off, what I'm going to do is take another one of these anti-ish medicines. My neck dried out, but it's healed up over these last couple days. They say the hydrogen peroxide's good for this stuff. You know, I use rubbing alcohol every now and then. And, you know, I try, try to hit this thing with aloe. And, uh, like I said, I start with uh, the African soap. Start with the African soap. I put some aloe vera and then I want to put the antibacterial in the shower so I'm hitting this every which way I know how and uh, these things thrive in moist conditions you know this stuff so I use powder every now and then so hey that's what's going on guys that's what's going on I'm gonna take some of this as soon as the camera stops rolling you guys hang in there man